Hello, this is Chris Kobe with the League of Women Voters of Portland. You are watching Video Voters Guide. Along with Metro East Community Media, we are here to talk with candidates running in the May 2020 primary election. With me today is Ernest Warren Jr., who is running for Judge of the Circuit Court, Position 12 in District 4, which is Multnomah County. Welcome, Ernest, and please tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're running for judge. Hi, Chris, Ernest Warren. I'm a lifelong Portland, Oregon person. Um, 31 years I've been practicing law, primarily in Multnomah County Circuit Court. I'm running for judge because I believe that, you know, you have to maintain justice. I believe I'm a person that can maintain justice and always do what's right. And having been around for so long, I know that personally I'm the right person for the job and answering your questions, I wanna make that known to the voters as well. Great. Um, turning to the issues, especially the tumultuous times we're living in now, what challenges have been and will be created by the pandemic to the effective and efficient administration of justice and how do you propose to meet those challenges if you are elected? It's a dynamic right now. I'm in the middle of it as a, as representing people um, in court. Basically now we have um, transitioned to more video uh, hearings uh, with the judge um, to litigate our cases. We have motions that have to be heard. I believe that the substantive law doesn't change much. It's just the way that people will have access to the courts. We have to speed up the uh, process of bringing modern technology because with modern technology comes safety and we wanna put people's safety first. That's very important uh, with pandemics. Um, you know, practice social distancing, Certainly, we should have done it a long time ago. The court systems uh, in Multnomah County has recently went paperless. Uh, before that, human beings have to actually go to court, file documents with clerks. Now it's all done electronically. In the U.S. District Courts, that's been done for the last 10 years. We've been doing things electronically. So I think now Multnomah County Circuit Courts can leapfrog the federal system because of the broadband services are so um, more apt to new technologies. Uh, the U.S. District uh, Courts have older technology. And so I think with technology, not only can we give more people access to the courts, uh, but we can also protect people from uh, the effects of a pandemic. All right, turning to the more traditional issues that a judge would face, what is your philosophy of the purpose of sentencing in criminal cases? Thank you for asking. Um, I like to tell people that I believe historically a judge should hold one scale in, in one hand uh, to weigh the evidence, and that's what I would do. There's no other way to know if you can have fairness without uh, really weighing the evidence, listening. In many cases, uh, in, in state court under Measure 11, many of the rights of what a sentencing judge could do, the discretion is taken away. You have certain mandatory sentences. 95% of what a Monomah County Circuit Court judge does is criminal law. For the last 31 years, that's that's all I've done is criminal. Well, that's not all I've done, but I've done a lot of criminal law. I've also done civil cases too, but I've done the most serious um, cases representing indigent people. So I can, I believe I can listen to both sides and be fair. I believe that a victim has a right to be heard in very serious crimes. And, and, and the things that they request should be strongly considered. I understand what, where Measure 11 is, and, and, and it's important. 
And, and so I'm willing to uphold the law in all those regards. With respect to drug offenders, property crime offenders, first time offenders, I do believe rehabilitation and leniency is the movement and it's something that I've argued for for 31 years. I think that people deserve a second chance if it's their first chance in the criminal justice system and it's not a serious person to person type crime. Ernest, how would you as a trial court judge seek to improve the administration of justice within your own courtroom? I think what it is, is uh, with respect to a trial, it, it's very important. I've had 100 trials, so I understand how important the function of is of the jury. A jury trial is so important to the administration of justice and how we treat the jury and relate to the jury. I think because of my successes and failures in court that I can relate to a jury and make it happen. Also, how I would improve the administration of, of justice is with my ability to listen to both sides. My mother always told me that God gave me two ears to listen twice as hard as I speak. And I'm willing to do that even in the courtroom. I think uh, showing patience, listening, and, and when people feel they've been heard, I think there's a bigger possibility that they can uh, agree with justice and, and the way that justice is being administered in the courtroom. And I hope to bring that feeling to the courtroom. A last question. In your opinion, should voters consider a judge's sentencing record compared to that of other judges on the same court or the same offenses? Why or why not? Well, it really, I don't know if a judge's sentencing record tells you much about the judge or the people that have come in front of him for a sentence. Everybody, every particular person should be judged individually on what they did. They, they, they are entitled uh, to get separate treatment for uh, where they stand in life, what the crime was that they committed, what their history was before committing the crime, what are the purposes we're trying to uh, accomplish, um, Certainly, when you, you, you punish heinous crimes, and there's, and, you know, that's just it. On the other hand, uh, with um, drug addiction, uh, a big part of that has to be rehabilitation. Another part is, is, is repayment of restitution uh, for uh, theft crime and property crime. So, I don't know if you can really say, um, if you can really evaluate, and I certainly would ask the voters not to do that. I think you have to evaluate on how a judge is diligent to listen and give everybody a individualized treatment um, as to what is right and what is correct. And I, I, don't, I don't agree with that, that you should just look at how hard some judge goes around slamming somebody. Um, you know, if somebody was stealing to feed themselves because they were um, hungry, uh, they shouldn't be slammed into prison for, for a long time versus someone who commits a heinous crime. So, I, I, you know, the, I think uh, I'm going to have the scales of justice beside me to weigh out what really is fair and what is fair punishment. Thank you, Ernest. This has been the Video Voter's Guide. The primary election is Tuesday, May 19. Be sure to inform yourself about the candidates and the ballot measures and exercise your right to vote. Thank you for watching.